way class. Uh, let's for we start our lesson for the day. Of course, let us pray. So Agbalawa has prayed yesterday. So Amboni, can you lead us in prayer? Okay. Right. Okay. Sit down. Let me check your attendance. So no vacancy. So all is present. And then, yeah. So our topic yesterday is. Yes, it's all about the RTSD or the right triangle similarity children. So, what does this state? Yes, Grace? Right. When an altitude is drawn on a right triangle, so it will make a two similar triangle. So altitude here. To the so these two similar triangle. Right? So how do we describe the right triangle? Yes, John? Yes, it is a triangle with 90 degrees. Here, 90 degrees. Now, we will have the group activity, a crossword puzzle. So, group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. Alright, 5 minutes I will be given you and you will find as many number words in the crossword puzzle. Okay, congratulations. Now, based on the activity, what is our topic for today? Our topic for today is Pythagorean children. So, Pythagorean children. So, what is Pythagorean children? Do you have any idea? Yes, Glenn? Right, it has the equation c squared plus a squared plus b squared. Yes, Precious? Right, it states that the sum of the two legs is equivalent to the square of the hypotenuse. So the sum of the square of two sides is equivalent to the square of the hypotenuse. So it is right. It is the relationship between sides of a right triangle. Yes. It's only four right triangles. Now here the triangle is A B C A B C and let's name their sides. So, Sherry, where is the hypotenuse? Yes, it's the side AB, the longest side. Then the two legs, AC and CB, right? So, we can name the sides here. Big letter C to small letter C. Big letter B to small letter B. And big letter A to small letter A. So that's our triangle. 
So now, let's prove the Pythagorean theorem. So here, it's the triangle L M N. So there, the given L M is R. M N is S. L N is the hypotenuse N is. So, let's prove that R squared plus e S squared is D e squared. Or the hypotenuse D e squared is equivalent to the sum of the two legs. The square R, R squared, S squared. So, now, let's construct the altitude M K. So, by doing that, let's make W to the hypotenuse. Then, the LN is the T. The LK here, L and K will be the U. And the KN is B. So now let's separate the triangles. So the first triangle is the original triangle. So L M N. Second triangle here. The L M K. The third triangle. So, the hint, first hint is describe triangles LMN, MKN, and NKN. So, let's describe them. So, we will choose to will be the answer the question. But, so, the handkerchief list. Uh, give it to your classmate while I will be singing Meron uh, Meron Sinta. Then, who uh, has the handkerchief when I said stop will be, will be answering the question. Okay? Right. Meron Meron Sinta, buku ng papaya, dalay puslo, sisidlan ng bunga. Stop! Right, Jenny. So, what is the relationship between the three triangles? So, L, M, N is congruent to MKN, right? MKN is congruent to MKN. Right. So it states the right triangle similarity to them, as you have studied yesterday. So second, so the the hint is write the ge the proportions involving the geometric means R and S. So R and S. So the geometric means. So I will sing again. Meron meron sinta buku ng papaya. Dala dalay gusto, sisid lang ng bunga, pagdating sa dulo. Stop! Yes, Jared? 
Answer the second. Right. So the geometric mean for R is R is equivalent to yes U and P e. and the S is right B e and V it's right so special properties of right triangle so now the third hint is cross multiply the terms of the proportions in statement so again pass the handkerchief meron meron sinta buko ng papaya stop right Benedict that's right the answer is R squared equals UT, then S squared equals VT. Right. So, R times R, R squared, U times T, UT, S times S, S squared, then VT. So, the reason is the cross multiplication property of proportion. Now, the fourth thing. So, add S squared to both sides of R squared UT is equal to UT in the statement 3. And I will sing again. Leron, leron sinta, buku ng papaya, baladay guslo, sisidling ng bunga. Stop! Right, Karen? Right, so, add S plus R squared plus UD plus S squared. So, the addition property of, of equality. Now, the fifth hint. Substitute S squared on the right side of the statement using equivalent from statement 3. So, I will sing again. Meron, meron sinta, buko ng papaya, dala, dala'y gusto, sisidlan ng bunga, pagdating sa dulo, nabali ang sanga. Stop! Right, John? Yes. So, we add, S squared is equivalent to equivalent to VT plus R squared plus VT. So, to the right. So now, the hint, uh, that's the substitution. To the right, the S squared is VT. Now, factor the right side of the statement. Meron, meron sinta, buko ng papaya, dala, dala, buslo, stop. Yes, Ken Henry? Yes, the answer is correct. S squared plus R squared plus U. B times U plus B. So, the reason for that is the common monomial factory. Now, the hint is substitute UV in the statement 6 by equivalent length in the figure. So, who will answer? Meron, meron sinta, buko ng papaya, dala, dala'y gusto, sisid lang ng bunga, pagdating sa dulo, nabali ang sanga, kapos kapalaran, nabali ang sanga, stop. So, you will answer physically. So, right, UV is equivalent to P. So, 
S squared plus R squared plus T times T. This means the segment addition postulate. So the last, simplify the right side of the statement 7. This is statement 7, so simplify it. Who will simplify it? I will sing again. Meron, meron sinta, buku ng papaya. Dala, dala, gusto, si, si. Stop. Yes, Erica? Yes, it's correct. S squared plus R squared plus T squared. So now, let's, we are done. We have, we have proved that R squared plus S squared plus T squared in the final, in the eighth, seven, and many, many more we have done. So, that is the Pythagorean theorem. The T, which is the hypotenuse squared, is equivalent to the sum of the square of R and S. That's right. So now, we will solve in getting the unknown sides of a right triangle using Pythagorean theorem. Are you excited? So, the first is, let's draw the triangle. Here's the triangle number one. So, the triangle a, B, C as C has the missing number then A here is the B then the A is equivalent to 6 so C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So C squared equals substitute, yes. Grande. Right. You answer it correctly. So C squared plus A squared is equivalent to 36 plus 64, C squared equals 100, so square root, square root, so C is equivalent to 10. That's right, very good. Now, let's have another one. So, this, this triangle X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. So this is Z, small Z, small X, small Y. So Z is 15. Y is unknown and X is 9. So can you answer it? Kate Alvin? So write Alvin. So z squared was x squared plus y squared. 15 squared was 9 squared plus y squared. So 225 equals 81 plus y squared. 225 equals or minus 81 was y squared. y squared is equivalent to 144. And the square root, the square root, so y is equivalent to 12. Oh, we have done it. Now let's do it in a real life problem solving. So, how can we do it? So now the problem is, there's, there is a ladder that is 10 feet long and it is 6 
feet away from this is the wall. So we will find the height of the wall. So let's make it A, B, C. So C is the longest hypotenuse. Then side B and side A. So now, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Then squared equals 6 squared plus B squared. 100 equals 36 plus B squared. 100 minus 36 is equivalent to B squared or square root square root of 64 B is equivalent to A so the top the height of the wall the top how tall is the wall it is 8 feet so now let's have a group activity answer this so group 1, group 2 and group 3 So here is the three triangle. Can you write this? Right? So, discuss the answer later by group. So now, thank you for your presenting your answer and getting the side of the right triangles. Now, again, what is a Pythagorean theorem? Yes, Kennedy? Right. It is the relationship between the sides of the triangle, right triangle, which is the hypotenuse. We, we squared it, is equivalent to the sum of the two legs, the square of it. So, right. So, what is the application of Pythagorean theorem? Right. It is solving unknown sides of a right triangle. So now, before we end, we will have an assignment. So in a crosswise, you will write it. Is it all right? It's only two items. Right, so class dismissed. Thank you.